Right, we're jumping straight in part seven of my series on how to play the drums for people who've never played the drums before. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to vary your bass drum patterns. Uh, we played some grooves up till now where we had the bass on one and three. One and two and three and four and one and two and... Then we added an extra bass on the one and and the three and. One and two and three and four, as I like to call them. Two and three and four and one and two and... Then we changed it up a bit and we did three and four, the one and the and, and then the three on its own. One and two, three and four, one and two, and then swap those around. One on its own, three and and. One and two and three and four and. And we know how to play those now in four bar phrases. One, two and three and four and two and two. And four and three and two and three and four and four and two and oh you know the bed and put it on the right three and four and two and two and three and four three and two and three and four and four and two and oh you knucklehead arm Oh you knucklehead today, tardy tuckadee, whatever. So let's add some more bass drum patterns. Now, the idea here is that I'm going to give you some concepts to explore so you can come up with different beat combinations. It's not a bad idea if you want to to go through a book and learn a bunch of vocabulary that way. Let's just get started playing bass on one and three, a Billy Jean, money beat, basic rock groove, whatever you want to call it. This, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. And four and one and two and three. Now we're going to add the bass on the and of two and three and four. I like to call it the two and. Two and three and four and two and three. Is that a common thing? I don't know. One and two and three and four and. This can be a little bit challenging when you first do it. One and two and three and four and. It feels different from the other beats we've done already. Four and one and two, but go slow and steady and count out loud. Two and three and four and. And we go back to the one and the three, three and four, and instead of the and of two or the two and, we're going to add the four and. One and two and three and four and. Highway to hell. Three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four. Slow and steady. Count out loud. Three and four and try to keep yourself relaxed when you're doing this. Three, four and one and two and three. Four and one and two. Let's change it. Three and four. Back to the basic one and three. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and. Let's put the one and in. One and two and three and the four and. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three. Let's add the three and as well. One and two and three and four and one and two and four and one. Let's swap the four and the two and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and oh forgot what I was doing two and three and four and one and two and four and let's go back to one and three need a rest four and one two and three and four and one two let's drop the three this time and play the two and Three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. I'm gonna get there in the end. One and two and not much bass though, is there? One and two and let's put the four and in. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And three and four and one, two and three. Now let's swap the two and for the one, two and three and four and one, three and a four and and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, 
two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and four and one and the end two and if you didn't notice four and one two three and four and one did you see what i did there i'm just experimenting by thinking about different positions i can put the bass drum on and then i'm sitting with that beat for a little while uh, the idea here is that you can just use your mind god help us to create beats in four four time where you're playing different bass drums or different bass drum notes should i say on the different eighth notes um, i'm avoiding for the time being uh playing a bass drum note on the two or the four but uh, you can fill in or not fill in every other uh, space as you like. And, and you can also learn how to play uh, the bass drum on one, two, three, and four, which is the four to the floor dance beat. And you can experiment with other combinations of bass drum notes. So in, in short, which is something that I don't do very well, um, experiment and maybe put together some ideas of beats you like the sound of by keeping your hi-hat or your ride playing one and two and three and four and play your snare on two and four uh, and try any kind of bass drum pattern you fancy. Now, once you get a pattern that you like and you feel comfortable with it, the next thing to do is to play it in a four bar phrase. So we're gonna count four bars. Let's start on the hi-hat and play a fill at the end. So, uh, I don't know, bass on one, two and and three and, and we're playing four bar phrase on the hi-hat. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four three and two and three and four four and two and ta di ta ka di one and two over to the right and two and two and three and four and three and two don't forget the left foot high up four and two and ta di ta ka di one and then play that until you're comfortable with it and you know you can keep it going four and three and two don't forget to count four and four and two and ta di ta ka di and two and three and four and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and and two and ta di ta ka di push done there it is and that's it it's not rocket science um or brain surgery even um it's just drumming. Work on being able to play different bass drum combinations and write down any patterns you think sound good. Now, uh, that's a conceptual way of dealing with some bass drum variations and it gives you the opportunity to uh, become familiar and to coordinate different patterns between your hands and your bass drum foot uh, and, and your left foot as well when you're playing the ride, if you play the hi-hat as I recommend on the two and four. I do recommend also using a book to develop your vocabulary because it'll help you uh, cover patterns in a more comprehensive way and uh, you can really get some woodshedding or donkey work done uh, in terms of developing your vocabulary and your coordination and so on. Uh, my favourite is Joel Rothman's Mini Monster book, but there's also a book called The Drum Set Musician by... Um, What's his name? Rick Mattingly and Rod Morgenstein. It was in there somewhere. And uh, Pete Erskine has a great book as well called Drum Set Essentials. So try any one of those. But you've got pages of rock beats and you can work through as many different combinations of bass and snare uh, in eighth notes, quarter notes, lots of different uh, opportunities to practice different beats. Right, that'll do for today. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful and if there's any other topics you'd like me to cover. Um, I'm interested in developing things further, whether it's for beginners, intermediate, or even advanced players. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Now you can go away and practice. <laughs>